Hey guys, so I thought I would uh, share my current um, beauty basket with you. I've actually had this stuff out for about a week and I imagine I'm going to be using it for the next couple of weeks because I pulled quite a bit. And most of this actually was featured in my um, like fall picks series. If you missed that, um, I'll be sure to list it down below. But um, since we're now end of September, beginning of October, I wanted to start using a lot of my fall stuff. So let's just jump right in and see what I have out. The Tarte um, Amazonian Clay palette that I really like. Um, this has some pretty colors for fall, also some gorgeous blushes. I love this palette. Um, this is now at Ulta with a really great like package deal. I will link that package deal down below. I also um, pulled out the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D because, oh God, look at that. It's amazing. I, I die over this palette, especially now that it's fall. Ugh, and I, mm, there are rumblings on trend mood. Sorry about my dry hands. God, can you believe? Look at that. I need some lotion. Um, according to trend mood on Instagram, Kat Von D is coming out with another really great eyeshadow palette or two. Mm, I'm excited. Lorac unzipped. So those are the palettes that I have out for myself. Okay, this never really changes. Um, I'm using the Beige, Beige Betty Brow Box. I'm actually trying to use up, oh, for the love of God, what is going on here? Um, this color right here so that I can grab something new during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the brow um, shade that I use every single day. There's a gray one from Tarte that I want to buy, so I'm, I'm just trying to get rid of that guy. This I actually use in my crease quite a bit, and it's very pretty, so I'll finish that up at some point too just as a crease color. But they no longer make this. The Beige Betty Brow Box. Why, Urban Decay? Why? Anyway, there's all kinds of mascara in here. Everything from Paula's Choice to Too Faced to um, finishing up this benefit. There is the Boudoir um, Princess L Princess Lash. Why did I say Boudoir? I, I don't know why. It's the Princess Lash from Essence. Um, this I just keep using and I'm so sad that I can't repurchase this. But it'll be okay. I'll find something else. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayon. I've talked about this like so many times as being amazing. Um, it's in Forever Taupe. I use this as my liner most days. Um, I also have the Kat Von D autograph pencil in Immortal Love that I just adore. Um, uh, what is this? The Taupe um, pomade from Anastasia. Okay, so that stuff's this stuff honestly never really changes until I get rid of mascaras and stuff. I do want to mention that I use an eye primer every single day. Right now I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes eye primer, but I think the Too Faced one is probably my favorite. Okay, let's talk about blushes that I have out. I have um, Romantic Rose by Milani. I have, oh god, I love this. This is my Essence Metal Glam Highlighting Powder. This is one of the best highlighters known to man. And of course it was from a limited edition collection, but I just, I love this. I love it. Um, the Hourglass, oh, hey guys. Um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Palette that I got last year during the holidays. I also have this Marsala Trio from the Pantone Universe and Sephora collection. This is perfect for fall. It's perfect. If you manage to get your hands on this, bust it out because tis the season, folks. Um, Becca Blush in Sweet Pea. Love this. Turns out it's friggin' discontinued, I think. But you can still get it online at Ulta. You guys, it's worth getting. It is really, really worth getting. And then I always use this for my contour. It's the NYX Blush in Taupe. Which, by the way, I don't think is actually discontinued because they're still selling it on the NYX website. So, snag it. It's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna come down here and... <laughs> rest my little feet. Okay, let's talk some lip products. Warm Me Up by Maybelline, Buxom's Dolly. I have a couple of Revlon lipsticks in here. This one happens to be in Sassy Mauve. <laughs> Just love the name of it. Um, I also have Touch of Spice from Maybelline, which is gorgeous. These are all my like fall like mauve plums, and I just Love them. Stella and I love this. <laughs> she loves putting this on her lips. It's the Rosebud Sol from Smith's. It's beautiful. Um, this one is 
uh, Mauvey Night from Revlon, which is really pretty too. You'll be seeing all of these in like, obviously the, the coming weeks in like Friday Favorites and Flops. I don't know that there's many flops in here though, because I know that I love all this stuff. Um, Anna from NARS Audacious, love that. NYX Matte Lipstick in um, Whipped Caviar. Um, Maybelline Color Sensational Gloss in Mirrored Mauve. That's really pretty for fall. There is a clear lip liner from Paula's Choice here, which is nice when you are doing um, like darker lips and you don't want your lipstick to bleed. This is this is amazing. And then um, Thalia. Talia, Thalia, <laughs> from the NYX Round Lipstick line, and then, of course, Flutter Kiss from the High Voltage line. Love, 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 love. Oh, here, why don't we just do that. By the way, this drawer has been working great from my everyday stuff because I just shop from here and pull into here. By the way, that bag, that is for an upcoming declutter video. Lord, I cannot believe how much makeup I found again like just doing my beauty baskets, just, it's amazing. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Here are some singles and some smaller quads. This Cargo um, Cool Neutral Palette, I love this, and I've been using this nonstop. It's fantastic. They're all mattes. They're gorgeous. Amazing. Love and Sound um, from the Essence Collection in Glastonbury. Very pretty. Um, ooh. Ardency in rose gold must have, of course Mac cranberry, because again tis the season. Mac um, satin taupe. I've been wearing this quite frequently and have shown it on Snapchat. By the way, I have Snapchat now. Oh geez, you guys, I suck at it. So like, be nice to me on there. Um, I will add Snapchat. It's Mr. Kong's mom. I don't look me up there. <laughs> I don't know how the hell it works. I don't know how to link it. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I got it because everyone has it and it's like, I don't know, I feel like I have to be like a youngin with all of this technology stuff, but I'm just not great with technology. Okay, Burnt Plum and to Toasted Bark, sorry, Bark from the Elf um, Domed Baked Line. I don't know what they call this, but I like it. This is always a staple brulee from Wet n Wild. I always put this all over my lids before I start any of this eyeshadow application stuff because it just helps everything blend. And then um, Sweetest Candy Trio from Wet n Wild down there. So that is what's in this guy over here. And then lastly, honestly, this doesn't change much either. My Everyday Minerals Base. I am a powder foundation girl because... I just have really oily skin. So right now I'm using Golden Ivory 1W. That's my color, and this is the matte base. But I will be switching over to the semi-matte base here probably in the next month. I use the matte during the summer. When it's warmer out, I guess I should say. Catrice Transparent Mattifying Powder. I got this when I was in Germany. It's beautiful. I'm trying to finish this up. It's the Healthy Balance from Bourgeois. My friend Stephanie sent this to me in the color vanilla. Um, it's a powder foundation, but it works better at like over a powder foundation because it doesn't provide a ton of coverage. But, And then my Paula's Choice um, Buff Beige uh, Pressed Powder. I really enjoy this over my powder foundation as well for more coverage. This is my Everyday Minerals. Um, this is actually the Sunlight Finishing Dust. Um, it's just a really nice finishing powder. It's kind of in a banana-y type shade, but a really light one. So it just works great at toning down a little bit of my redness. And then last but la not least, for any like under eye bluish tones that I have going on, this is the Sunlight Jojoba Color Corrector from Everyday Minerals. I really love this line, you guys. Um, I buy all my stuff from them. Like, in fact... Nothing here was sent to me. Um, I know sometimes people like ask me, like, you know, like how much of this stuff do you get for free? Honestly, not much. <laughs> I'm not that famous. So, you know, I don't get stuff from companies very often, but um, nor would I want to like frequently. Um, I am 
I'm lucky enough to be able to buy most of my stuff myself. But anyway, um, this is all just stuff that I love and I love it so much um, and highly, highly recommend everything here. Um, these palettes, I need to actually start using them. I've been using this so much that I need to focus on these guys a little bit more over the next couple of weeks. So these are products that um, I am currently using. And yeah, let me know if you guys are doing this shop your stash thing with me here because it's, I just find it extremely helpful. Anything that I don't like after I switch these products out goes into this bag here um, to get sanitized and then passed along to my nieces. So anyway, this has been super helpful for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.